Hello, I welcome you to this introduction to V-Ray for Revit. And if you have watched my last video, I talked about how to download and install V-Ray for Revit. If you watch it and follow it carefully, you should be able to install your V-Ray correctly. And if you have installed it correctly and registered it, you are going to see V-Ray tab here. You can see this V-Ray tab. So you have to be on 3D. And you can see that all these two are graded out. It's only these two that are left out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this Acquire License. And it's going to check whether this V-Ray plugin is registered. So let's give it some time for it to check. And the tools will be active in the next few seconds. okay you can see it has checked and saw that this software is registered and now the tools are active now these are the tools you'll be using to produce your high quality rendering for v-ray in Revit. the first one we have here is 3d this is where you are going to select the 3d you want to render let's say i want to select this view 2 this 3d view 2 i'll simply click it and when i want to render that is the one that will be render and this is where you are going to select either render production or render interactive this is the quality and this is where you are going to select the materials, work on the material, you work on the light and the sun. There are other settings here and so on and so forth. In case you have not yet gained access to Revit Tutorial Masterclass, I'm going to leave the link to the enrollment portal in the description of this video. Make sure you click on it so that you can gain access to Revit Tutorial Masterclass. I'm going to be going more deeper and discussing more details about using V-Ray for Revit with my premium students. So make sure you gain access so that you have nothing to lose. And at the end, you are going to come out as a professional. All right. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.